How much does it actually cost to make games professionally? And I'm not talking about marketing or hiring costs. I mean the actual tools and subscriptions that I use every single month. Today I'm breaking down every single subscription I pay for as mobile game developer with a small team. And spoiler alert, it all adds up up to $3,200 per year. So let's get into it. First up, version control. This is absolutely essential when working with a team as you don't want to mess up your projects. Now Unity itself is completely free for me because I'm under the revenue threshold, which is amazing, but for version control a lot of people use GitHub, and I actually use that for my solo projects as well. But for the team projects we use Plastic CSM. It's specifically designed for Unity projects and handles large binary files way better than Git, and the visual branch representation is so straightforward. It costs us $17 per month. Is it necessary? If you're working solo, probably not, but having a team, it saves us from conflicts and lost work constantly, worth every penny. Next, 3D modeling. For our games, we mostly use assets from Unity Asset Store, but we also create and modify models ourselves. And I use 3ds Max with an indie license, which runs about $30 per month. Now I know what you're thinking. Ivan, Blender is free, I know, and you're totally right, I'm just lazy. I've been using 3ds Max for almost two decades, and at this point my muscle memory is so ingrained that switching would actually slow me down. If you're just starting out, definitely learn Blender, but for me this $30 is worth not having to learn everything. The big one, Adobe Creative Suite, at $50 per month. For game development specifically, I use Photoshop and Illustrator for UI and 2D art and Audition for editing audio files. But here's why I pay for the full suite rather than just for those three apps. My YouTube channel. I use After Effects, Premiere Pro for video editing and Adobe Audition for audio work. Since I'm creating content about game development, having all these tools in one package makes total sense. If you're only making games and not doing content generation, you could probably get away with just Photoshop or even free alternatives. Website costs $17 for my Google domain and $22 for Squarespace hosting, to total $39 per month. Is a website necessary for game development? Honestly, not really. But it's professional, it helps with publisher outreach, and it gives a central place to showcase my portfolio. If you're bootstrapping, you can skip this entirely and just use social media. Now we're getting into the modern stuff. AI subscriptions. I have Claude Pro for $20 and ChatGPT for $25, and I use this constantly for brainstorming ideas, editing my YouTube video scripts, and especially for App Store game pages, game localizations, and instead of paying human translator hundreds of dollars per game, AI can give me decent first drafts that I then can refine. I also paid $12 for Midjourney, which I use for loading screens, app icons, and promotional art, and the newest addition, Bezi AI, at $60 per month. This is a code assistant specifically for Unity, and honestly, it's been speeding up my development significantly. Is it essential? No, but it pays for itself in time saved. That's $117 per month just on AI tools. Do you think it's a lot, right? Discord Nitro at $9.99. We use Discord for all team communications, and the Nitro subscription lets me upload larger files like gameplay videos, APK files for testing, screen recordings of bugs, and the file size limit on free Discord is just too small when you're sharing game builds constantly. So let's add it all up. Version control $17, 3 software $30, Adobe Suite $50, Web Hosting $39, AI Tools $117, Discord $10. Grand total $263 per month, or $3156 per year. Now here is the reality check. You do not need all this to start making games. Blender is free, Unity is free, GitHub is free. You could start making games with $0 per month. But as you grow, you start working with the team. As you start taking things seriously, this tool genuinely makes you more productive and more professional. For me, this 3000 per year is a business expense that pays for itself in time saved and quality improved.
And what tools do you pay for? Are there any I'm missing and you think are essential for game development? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more breakdown videos about game dev development. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.